Google just dropped three huge new updates to Performance Max, and if you're running Pmax campaigns right now, you need to know about these changes. These aren't just minor tweaks, these updates seriously change how you test, control, and analyze your campaigns. So join me today as we dive into what these updates are and how you can be using them to improve your Google Ads results. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Daryl and I've been running an e-commerce Google Ads agency called Bigflare for over 10 years now. On this channel, I share the latest Google Ads strategies direct from the trenches to help you grow your e-commerce store. All right, let's dive into update number one. First up, this one's been a long time coming. We're finally getting proper A-B testing for assets within Performance Max campaigns. Google's calling this asset testing experiments, and it lets you run a test to see if adding your own assets like headlines and images and videos actually improves performance or not. And the best bit, you don't need to create a whole new campaign like we have to do with most other experiment types in Google. This test runs the AB experiment using a single Pmax campaign. No more duplicate campaign bloat from running experiments. I'd say the new assets experiment feature is especially useful if you're currently running feed only campaigns, because now you can actually measure if adding those assets will improve your results or just make things worse. The feature is on gradual rollout and I don't see it in most of my client accounts yet. To see if you have the feature, first click into your Performance Max campaign like this. Then on the left sidebar, click Experiments. Click here to bring up Performance Max Experiments. Click the plus icon to create a new experiment and then click this bottom option over here called test a performance max feature. This is where the new assets experiment feature will appear once it is live in your account. In this client account, the new feature is not live yet and this experiment option that you see here called automatically created assets is not what we're looking for. That's a previously released experiment type that lets you see if letting Google auto create assets for you causes performance uplift. And that's different to the new feature that's coming out, the one I'm excited about. With the new feature, we'll be able to split test the adding of our own manually created assets. So look out in this section of your account here to see when it's added into your account. Next up, let's talk about negative keywords. You may already know that Google recently gave us the ability to add negative keywords directly to Performance Max campaigns. This used to be an absolute pain. You had to fill out a form, send it to a Google rare, wait for them to manually apply it. It was all a bit ridiculous and long-winded. Then Google added the option to do it yourself in the interface but they capped it at just 100 negative keywords. And now, as you can see here in this recent post from Ginny Marvin, Google's ads liaison, the cap has now been lifted to 10,000 negative keywords. This is a big win. It means we can now properly manage negative keywords in Performance Max campaigns. It brings Performance Max in line with search campaigns in terms of how many negatives you can add. It's a clear sign from Google that they want to give us more control and I am absolutely here for it. Still missing from Pmax at this stage is the ability to use negative keyword lists. At the end of Ginny's post though, she hinted that an update might be coming from Google this year on this point. Hey guys, let me take a brief moment to say if you're running Pmax campaigns and you want to make sure you're not wasting spend or missing out on these new features, that's exactly what I help clients with at my agency, Bigflare. We've generated over $150 million in e-commerce revenue through Google Ads for our clients and we're obsessed with using new updates like these to squeeze every last drop of performance out of your campaigns. If you want help scaling your business profitably using Google Ads, hit the link in the description below to book a free call with me or my team. All right, let's get back to the Pmax updates. Okay, this next update might be my favorite one. Google is finally giving us a proper search terms report inside Performance Max. If you've ever tried using the old one under Insights, you'll know how clunky it is. It groups everything together into weird categories and makes it almost impossible to see what's actually going on. It's messy, it's slow, and it's borderline unusable if you're trying to make real data-driven decisions. But now, Google is rolling out a true search terms report for Performance Max, just like what we're used to seeing in search and shopping campaigns. This means you'll be able to see more clearly which queries drive conversions, add negative keywords directly from the report, and get more data and customizable columns to get a true picture of what's really driving performance and what's wasting money. 
This one's also on a gradual rollout, and again, I haven't seen it live in any of our client accounts at Big Flare, but I am keeping my eyes peeled for this because I'm excited to start using it. To check if it's live in your account, click into your Performance Max campaign in Google Ads. Click here to expand the Insights and Reports section. When you have the feature, you should see an option in here that says Search Terms. Here's an example of a search campaign where you can see we have the search terms report available. So this is what you are looking out for. When you see this here in Performance Max campaigns, then great, you'll be getting a much better search terms report. And I highly recommend you use that information for adding negative keywords to Performance Max and adding positive keywords to your search text campaigns. Taking advantage of these Performance Max updates is not going to be as impactful if you do not have a good campaign structure set up. In this video right up here, I dive into our campaign structures that help us achieve a 700% return on ad spend. I cover performance max campaigns, as well as diving into some of the advanced strategies that you can use to grow your Google ads.